haven't done a video for quite some time now. Uh, things have been crazy busy, and I know that um, they get crazy busy for everybody this time of the year. Uh, I did think that that would be a great opportunity to talk about uh, how we can put together some cards really quickly homemade. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the store-bought card. I think that they are great in themselves. Um, I just kind of like to make a homemade card. It's kind of my thing. I love to do that. I have come up with a few tips on how to do that um, kind of quickly and cheaply and without having to order a bunch of supplies. You can just use the supplies that you probably already have in your craft room. So we'll just get to it and get this video going so that you can see some of the cards I created. Thanks so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Okay, so we all have um, little things that we like to do, our favorite ways to do things. Mine is to always reach for my, um, my scrap paper that is in my stash. I use this little divider and I sort my paper by color type. I put um, any kind of scraps that I have, whether it's pattern paper or plain paper, I keep them in this little divider and this is the first place I go before I do any kind of craft. For uh, the first card that I wanted to show you, um, this is probably one of my favorite ways to create a card really quickly and very inexpensively. Um, I got out some paper that somewhat matched and I tried to find something that kind of matched a fall theme. I also found a, a yellow uh, card here. It was, came in a pack of cards that somebody had gotten me as a gift. And then I cut a piece of cardstock out of white Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock and um, what I'm going to do is use a piece of stick it adhesive and I this is the easiest way to do this card um, you can use glue or you could use a glue or a tape runner as well but the easiest and uh, in my opinion the less the least messy way is to use the stick it adhesive and if you haven't used stick it adhesive before, you basically are sticking this to your paper. And then when you peel off the backing, it leaves a stickiness on your paper that you can use for, um, it's very good for use with intricate dyes and that kind of thing. So um, I'm putting my paper down on the one side of the sticky stick it adhesive. And once I get this pressed down, You'll see that I have a little piece here at the end that um, I don't need. There's um, like about a half of an inch there that I won't use. I just went ahead and cut that off and I'm going to stick that back into the package because um, that will be great for a use uh, some at a later date, either um, to use it with like maybe a, um, I'm thinking off of the top of my head, like for... Uh, some sort of a sentiment or something or a delicate um, intricate dye that would work out fine. So just stick it right back in there so I know where it's at. Now I'm going to peel the backing off of the stick it adhesive that's um, one side is pressed down to the paper and when I take the uh, release paper off what it leaves me with here is the stickiness. So I have a very sticky piece of paper here. So I'm going to go back to my scraps that I pulled out of my stash. And like I said before, I tried to choose a bunch of fall colors that I thought somewhat matched. And uh, you want some variance in your width of your strips. You want some thicker, some, uh, some thinner strips. And you will also need some long and some short. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through each of these pieces of paper here that um, I had pulled out and I'm just uh, really just eyeballing it and cutting some of the ones um, that are thicker into thinner strips so that I can get a little more usage out of those. And I you know, probably won't use all of these, but I'm just eyeballing it. And you could cut them each one by one as you move along just so you know exactly what you're going to use. But um, for time's sake here, to save a little time, I just went ahead and cut them all into strips so that I could um, get this done for you. So once you have the strips cut down, you're just basically going to lay them on your paper. And since it's already sticky, it makes the job super easy. You can just go ahead and press those down and they'll stay put. 
Um, so generally, uh, what I would suggest that you do is use the longer pieces of paper for the um, midsection of your card. So here I have sped up the video just a little bit just to uh, not bore, bore you with watching me stick strips of paper down on the paper over and over. But um, basically you just want to make sure that uh, when you put your piece of paper down that the entire end is hanging off of the paper on both sides. You don't want any white to show uh, from your card underneath. You want all of that sticky side to be covered. So also when you put the strips next to each other uh, down on your card base, you also want to make sure that you've got the edges right up next to the, uh, the one that's laying down next to it. Uh, once again, just to make sure that all the white is covered and you don't have any sticky showing. So you just want to um, get your pieces of paper laid down. I usually try to use, I don't, I don't like to use a great, um, like a little tiny piece for the corner. I usually like to use something that's at least a half of an inch wide uh, on the corner piece. So now I'm just going to trim around the outer edge by flipping over this uh, card base so that I can see the card and just trim around the edges. Uh, my trimmer, my paper trimmer has a little wire guide so it makes this job really easy um, and helps me to find the edge of my card so I can easily trim around the side. And so you just trim all these little pieces off and then what you're left with is a beautiful um, background for just about anything. You could put a sentiment on the front of it, you could put a, um, a little picture on the front that maybe you colored with Copics. Uh, you could just uh, do as little or as much with it as you'd like to do. I'm actually going to mount mine on that yellow piece of um, card base that I had showed you in the beginning of the video and I'm going to leave a little bit of the yellow edge showing around just to add some interest to it. So all of these little pieces here um, you can do with what you want. I mean you could probably get creative and do the same type of thing uh, that we just did, only using the smaller little pieces. Uh, you could put some stick adhesive on a piece of paper and maybe put these together like a little puzzle. Um, but I think that that may be uh, a card for a different day because uh, this video is actually about uh, time-saving cards and I think this would be a little tedious and um, take up quite a bit of time. So we'll just move on to uh, the rest of the video on some different kinds of cards. So we have this method here and I wanted to show you that I've done this in the past. Here's a card I created in the past using the same method, just different papers. And I did this in some blues and then I cut out a little sentiment and put it on the front with a pop dot and um, just put some little gemstones there on the edge of the tag that I created. And then I've also uh, recently just done these papers here. I've been working on some ideas for some Christmas cards. And so I did create a couple of Christmas cards using this method. The first one is probably my favorite and it's by far the easiest. I just cut out a little sentiment here and, um, it, and I embossed it with some gold embossing powder. And I put a little embossing powder around the edge of that, uh, in, of that sentiment as well. And then I just put some craft foam behind it and put it on the front of the um, background that I had created. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I just had to create a shaker card. And um, today I'm using a piece of one of the papers that I created using the strips like we just did. But I only used a portion of it. So I took the, uh, the piece of paper with the colored strips and I just cut the bottom corner off and placed it down in the bottom right hand corner of my card front. I used a little bit of gold metallic paper to create an edge there along uh, the other edge of that. And then um, I used the sweet little Christmas set from Mama Elephant. Um, I've used it several times. I used the Christmas ball and the tree branch from this set. And um, I stamped the Christmas ball on the card and then used some of my circle nesting dies 
to cut out a circle and turn it into a shaker card. So these cards are another great way to uh, stretch your scraps that you have on hand. So both of these cards were created using just simple pieces of paper out of my stash. Um, I had this plum colored card base that someone had given me from that kit I spoke about earlier uh, when I was doing the yellow card. And I found some patterned paper to match it and just put it on top with the sentiment. I also had this cute patterned paper. It's an animal print. I matted it with some brown paper, put it on a card base, and then uh, just tied some raffia ribbon around it before I attached it to the card base, actually. I found some flowers. Um, I used a button for the center of the flower. I even put some raffia into the center of the button. So here I created three cards using some paper I had in my stash. This was actually, um, this pattern paper was actually from a card. It was a store-bought card someone had given me years ago. And I held on to it because I just loved the uh, sparkly pattern paper. I cut this into three different uh, sizes and was able to get three cards out of it by just creating some sentiments using some embossing, um, embossing powder and uh, I was able to get the three cards. I embossed one right directly on the card, and then on the others I used just some sentiments that I pop dotted off of the card. Each of these cards were created with things that I had started or projects I had started and never used. So this first one is um, something that I had made using the Spellbinder uh, embossing folder. I was trying to use it for something else and ended up not using it. I just created a sentiment and put it on the uh, card base and was able to use it to make a beautiful thank you card. Uh, this was something else I had started to use for a card and decided not to. Uh, it was just a stamp that I had done with, um, it's a feather stamp, I had done it with some embossing powder. And then this one is probably one of my favorites and I had actually just made this um, when I was playing around with this, um, this glitter paste that I had purchased. Um, it's some glitter paste by Bow Bunny. This is actually in a bubblegum pink, I think. And um, it's very easy to use and the results are, are really, really beautiful. Um, so I used a Tim Holtz stencil that you see here. And you basically just